How's it going everybody? I'm here in Argentina right now. I'm waiting for the bus. I'm gonna be going downtown today to get some pizzas, some empanadas, and it's been a while since I've had any of it and I'm starving. So I think it'll be really interesting to show the process of getting downtown and getting the pizzas. So let's get to it. Hola. Super, super empty today, the bus luckily. The ticket comes up to 1,200, so it's about a dollar for the bus. So here we are coming up to the pizza place that I was talking about. This is La Mini Pizzeria, and they also sell some really good and really cheap empanadas here. I haven't had a pizza here in a few years. I think the last one I had was in 2022 or 2021. But the pizzas, from what I remember, were pretty good. So let's go and get it. Hola, ¿qué tal? Eh, para llevar. ¿Se puede sentar acá, no? Para llevar. ¿O es para llevar o para consumir acá? Bueno, consumir acá, pero acá dentro sería. Sí, te pido. Eh, una mozzarella de porción, una porción de mozzarella, una porción de fugaceta y una empanada de roquefort. ¿Qué más? Ahí sería ahí una bebida también, una coca. Dale, 5,650. Dale. ¿Luis? Gracias. Ah, bueno, muchas gracias. And the style that they have seating here, they have some seats outside and then you can also sit on these like little benches here, so really like what they say al paso where you just come in you eat standing up you eat wherever you can and then uh, you just keep moving on so not your traditional like restaurant more of like a quick grab and go kind of thing which isn't bad we got the first pizza here this is a fugaceta which is onion cheese and and then just like a regular pizza and a roqueford empanada for me one of the best empanadas you can order it's a uh, blue cheese with i think it should have ham and other things like that but very very good so i'm gonna start with uh, pizza before it gets cold it's mm. really good mm. it's a standard pizza it doesn't have any tomato sauce or anything like that it's really good really fresh flavor it's not that hot which is a good thing for me because i don't like to eat my food too hot so it's a good balance and it's not bad different from what you would find at like Domino's, Little Caesars or whatever you're used to very different but very good at the same time mm. that's the bottom I'm not sure how they do it if they have like a giant pizza oven or if they're just putting it through like a regular hot oven that goes through I'm not too sure but I mean it did come pretty pretty well cooked but it's not that hot then I ordered it with a Pepsi because they didn't have any Coke, so I mean, not bad. Pepsi's still pretty good. Although it does have a very different, sweeter flavor than Coke. I still, I still prefer Coke, but Pepsi's still pretty good. I'm not too much of a crust guy, so I usually just leave it like that. So here is the empanada, the Roquefort. For me, one of my favorites. I stopped ordering it because I ordered it so much that I was just getting tired of it. But still, a very, very good empanada. It's been so long since I've had roquefort empanadas. Look, that's the filling in the inside. You can kind of see the blue in there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, a whole bunch of cheese, a whole bunch of everything. I don't think there's any onions or anything like that. And I'm not too sure what the filling is, but I know there's uh, roquefort. Probably they cut it down with a little bit of another cheese. Just got the other order come in because they gave me the pizza separate. I'm pretty sure that this one wasn't ready yet. So I just got my mozzarella pizza here. This is a good, good one. But yeah, with the Rockefeller, there's a bunch of different types of flavors that you could put. Some of them have ham. I'm not too sure what other ones there is really, but there's quite a few ways that these come. And this one has more of like a kind of a putty kind of a texture to it, which, I mean, it's not bad. It's not my favorite type of way to eat the empanadas de Rockefeller, but 
it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. I prefer usually the homemade ones just because there's so much more controlled flavors that you can put the amount of Rockefeller that you want ideally, the amount of cheese, and it's just a lot better that way. And moving on, last but not least, is the mozzarella pizza. This is one of the more classic ones that you can get. For me, one of the pizzas that never really fails. So we got, this one does have tomato sauce. It has mozzarella cheese. It's probably cut down with another cheese also. You put some oregano. And this one's a little bit more drier and a little bit more warmer than the onion fugaceta that I ordered. And the bottom is a little bit more crusty, a little bit more cooked through, which isn't bad. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Definitely not my favorite pizza, but it's still good if you're just coming through wanting to get a quick bite and you find a pizza here. I mean, it's not bad if you're in the mood for the pizza. I personally really like here the empanadas. The empanadas are very good. There's so many, so many different options that they have and they're usually well made and with a lot of flavor. So definitely in La Mini, empanadas is the way to go. And one thing that you'll notice in pretty much everything that you order here in Argentina that has cheese, they put good cheese in it. Cause look at the amount of stretch that you get in all the pizzas and all the empanadas is like ridiculous. How much the pizza melts and stretches and for me, it's one of my favorite things about Argentina's the cheese. The cheese here, there's so many different options, very affordable and overall good quality cheese. So if you watched any videos here, you know that the napkins are just like literally paper, not the best. They don't absorb like anything. It does get some of like the crumbs off, but yeah, this is what you get used to here with these very, very cheap, very cheap napkins. But yeah, that's about it. The total for the two pizzas and the empanada came up to 5,150 pesos, which comes up to about $4.60, $4.70, somewhere around there. The conversion today is about 1,100 pesos per dollar, just so you can get a better idea there. Just so you can get a better idea there. So not bad at all for a full mini type of meal, including the Pepsi, so very good and very affordable and there it is la mini all right everybody thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed that type of video today remember if you are looking for a website or if you know anybody who has a local business and would really benefit from getting a website set up feel free to reach out to me i have my website in the description where you can get more information and of course please remember to like and subscribe it would really help me out since i am a growing channel just a simple like would make a big difference there so all right i appreciate it thank you for watching peace